guys! Today's video is about introducing and bonding guinea pigs. Before you introduce your new guinea pig to your herd, you should make sure that it's healthy so that it doesn't infect your other guinea pigs. Its eyes should be clear, the nose should be dry and no fluids should be coming out of it and you might want to take it to a vet first if you suspect that something could be wrong. However, some infections the vet can only find if they've already broken out. But let's start with the introduction. You're going to need lots of space. It could be a very large playpen or the floor. Just make sure that everything is guinea pig safe so that your piggies can't get to any cables or plants or behind the sofa. A good size for the introduction space is one square meter per guinea pig, which is 10.7 square feet for every guinea pig. Of course, more is always great and that's just an estimate. If you decide to provide shelter for your guinea pigs, you can only use things guinea pigs can run through. So for example, willow bridges or levels. Anything that has only one entrance is a trap for the guinea pig that's being chased. You can also only put these things in the middle of the playpen. If you put them too close to a wall, it becomes a possible trap as well. When we introduced Wilma to the group, I definitely wanted to have some shelter for the guinea pigs as my group consisted of four guinea pigs. There already was a dominant boar in the group and we added another female. Often in these situations in which you add a female into an already existing herd, only the neutered boar chases the newcomer a bit. The rest of the herd is pretty relaxed and neutral. All of that was the case in our situation, so we had a really smooth introduction, but I also think that shelter is important for guinea pigs. In these videos, you can see Wilma trying to hide under the radiator because she was too scared to move. When we introduced Pebbles and Frida to our neutered boar, we had no Heidi's in the playpen. The result were three guinea pigs that were too scared to move and therefore unable to sort out their rank. Once we added levels and willow bridges, they became more comfortable and started to show dominance. If you have a herd and introduce another guinea pig, the piggies who are not involved in the introduction at all because they are lower in rank anyway, can also just go about their business. But that sort of behavior you mainly have in groups of four or more guinea pigs. You should also have a towel or something similar ready in case two guinea pigs really fight. If you were to intervene with your hands, you might get bitten as well. Put a few hay piles and some veggies into the introduction area. This will often divert the piggy's attention. Make sure that you're at home for the day as introductions can take a few hours. If your guinea pigs seem to get along and there's no chasing or fighting after five or more hours, it often is going to stay that way. During an introduction, guinea pigs are often loud, they rumble strut and squeak loudly, they seem annoyed and stressed. There's lots of chasing, teeth chattering and fur biting. All of that is normal. Only intervene if there's blood and or two guinea pigs truly fight. Fighting means that they kind of look like one ball of fluff. It's often enough to just move their hay or clap into your hands. If that doesn't separate them, use the towel. An introduction often looks horrible for the owner. However, if you take a guinea pig out of the introduction area because you think that it's stressed or being chased too much and you feel sorry for the piggy and you want to take it away for a while, you are stressing out the guinea pig even more. Guinea pigs don't continue where they left off, but start over. Never interfere unless you truly want to break them up. One of the only reasons to break them up would be blood. If there's no blood, only watch them. Don't put your hand in the cage, don't pet them, just let them do their thing. They need to sort out their rank and it can be horrible to watch if you feel like one guinea pig is constantly being chased and the poor thing looks absolutely stressed out, but you have to let them do their guinea pig stuff. If a few hours later things seem to have calmed down, you can prepare their cage. Clean it thoroughly, you can also use a bit of vinegar for the smell and put new bedding or cage liners in. If possible, put in all of the guinea pigs at once or give the newcomer a head start. Once they're all in the cage, they might start chasing each other again. Heidi's that have only one entrance might become a trap, so it's better to take them out of the cage. Small scratches at the ears, nose or somewhere around the face aren't a big problem. That doesn't mean that the introduction has failed. However, bite marks around the neck and back are often a sign that one piggy is being attacked. It can happen that two guinea pigs just really can't stand each other. However, often too little space is the reason for fighting. To summarize the main points. 
Have lots of space, provide hay and veggies, avoid traps at all costs, so no dead ends, no hideys with one entrance. Have as many places to hide as you have guinea pigs. This allows the piggies to relax a bit, especially if the introduction takes a few hours. Have a towel ready. Don't intervene because you feel sorry unless it's absolutely necessary. Expect chasing, teeth chattering, rumble strutting, peeing at other piggies, squeaking, complaining and stressed guinea pigs. Whether an introduction is successful depends on many things. On the space you provide, on your group, so whether you have a herd, a boy group or you get a second guinea pig, the more guinea pigs you have, the easier it is to introduce new piggies. Boy and girl groups can be more difficult than herds. Guinea pigs that have lived on their own for a long time are more difficult to socialize and it also depends on your piggies characters on whether they like the newcomer. However, you shouldn't let any of these reasons stop you because once the bonding was successful, it's beautiful to see your piggies interact with each other and it will make your piggies happier to live with other guinea pigs. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!